Hi, I'm just um, very grateful to be here. This is my first time in India. I'm very excited about being here. This is um, something I never dreamed of before. And I'm just happy to be here. I look forward to going to the fight. And I wish to both the best teams, the best man wins. A woman. Thank you. At the uh, Dome, so I hope all of you are geared up for this wonderful match tomorrow, the fight night. Well, on that note, let's get the questions uh, from the media as well, now that we have heard from all of our dignitaries. What we're going to do is while we open the... To your left. Yeah. Hi. Uh, most welcome to India. Uh, we are quite uh, very excited and glad to see you over here in India, in uh, blood and flesh. Please about you, you have been a... Uh, So uh, we have been uh, hearing stories about you that you have you are a boxer uh, who played uh, not to not to lose not to lose any time and you are a sportsman who is known for uh, his spirit of never to lose. So what's your message to the sports person, sports uh, men and women in India, and how excited are you to be here in India? Hello. Well, hello. I'm very excited to be here. And that's why um, I wish the best of luck to both of the fighters that be here. And when, I, when you were talking to me about never losing, in life, everybody loses. We lose everything in life one time or another. But I'm just knowing if you lose in life, to never be discouraged and to keep on fighting and to keep on training. And that's what I learned during life. Never to give up. All right, well, also let's take more questions about the league as well. I'm sure there would be some... Uh, big honor to talk to you, sir. Welcome to India. Uh, my question is, as a boxing uh, legend, what uh, are you also an MMA fan? And uh, if so, who are some of your uh, biggest fighter, uh, inspirations in the world of MMA or uh, fighters you enjoy watching? I'm a big fan of MMA. I go to the UFC all the time. In Las Vegas, they, you know I mean, it's sponsored in Las Vegas, the UFC. So I go there all the time. Dana White is a good friend of mine. So I go to the UFC all the time. All right, let's take the next question. Yes, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Right. Uh, what are your thoughts on the concept of Kumite One League? For the first time, we're having something like a country versus a country rather than an individual versus individual. What are your thoughts on it? Somebody interpret that for me. So, Mike, the question was, what is your thought about the Kumite One League? So, typically, in, you, in, the, in the MMA match, you have individual fighters fighting, but this one is country versus country, India versus UAE. So, what's your thought about it? I think that's awesome, the competition between the, the two countries, and I think they should always continue to have something like that, because that's really awesome for inspiration for your country. So... Um, I'm going to be excited to come to all the, um, the Kuma One Leagues I can, as long as I've been invited by Brother Muhammad. Thank you. Uh, maybe I could also request Mr. Aditi. Very different than what has happened before. You see MMA, you see all different promotions all across the world doing individual sport. But when you tag along some, where you have, where you tag along the country pride along with the athletes, you're going to have a product which is not going to sell, but where athletes are going to focus, they're going to not going to fight for themselves, but they're going to fight for the country. They're going to represent the country, and they're going to make the country proud. So, so usually you typically wait for Olympics to happen every four years, but now with Kumite One League, with this MMA fighting championship, we're going to do this every season. So you're going to see more number of fighters coming in and representing the country and making the country proud. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, so this question is uh, with Sheikh. Uh, yeah, this is sports, uh, mixed martial arts. Uh, really, we are uh, quite thankful to you to just have uh, Mike Tyson over here. And uh, just to speak up something about this uh, sport, mixed martial art, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's condition in Dubai, and, and how are you just uh, uh, excited about this uh, sports to have in, in India? Uh, first of all, I'm uh, really happy to be here in India and uh, especially Mumbai. Uh, the fight is uh, 
I, I'm, I'm here, as I said, for the both teams. I wish the both teams all the best. But of course, everyone wants his country to win. But uh, hopefully, it's going to be a good fight and, uh, and an amazing night, too. Uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. And hopefully, uh, we'll talk more about it after the fight and see what goes tomorrow night. Uh, Mike, uh, in, your, in your professional career, Sure, I had quite a few. Um, Lennox Lewis, Van der Holyfield, Ray the Ruddick. Yeah, there's quite a few. Buster Douglas. Yeah. Really tough fighters. Any questions from behind? Any further questions? Yes, sir. How are you doing? All good. Uh, uh, since it's your first time in India, uh, everyone here in India uh, is uh, trying to welcome you. We've uh, got to know that Salman, Bollywood star Salman Khan is going to host you, uh, host you a, uh, a grand party. So just wanted to know, are you also excited for that? Please. Check. So uh, I think you got the, uh, maybe that's a rumor that's floating around. So his question was, some of the... Bollywood celebrity, so one of the so biggest Bollywood celebrities invited you for a dinner. So that was a question. So I think that's just rumor. I, tell him I'm going to the slum. <laughs> tell him I'm going to the slums. I'm not going to no party. Yep. So Mike has been very specifically been telling that he wants to go to Dharavi. He wants to go to the slum because he wants to look at all these kids. Look at the family there, because that's what the motivation, why? And his exact words were, people when they look forward, when they look, look on the other side, where you see big houses, big row houses, and, the, and you see yourself, and you get motivated, you work hard towards achieving that status. So Mike, would you like to say something? So Mike, would you, you grew up, and I, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a slum dog. I grew up in the slum, but I had ambitions and I wanted to get out of the slum, and that's why I'm here talking to you guys now. And um, there's nothing wrong with the slums. It's just somebody that had bad times, that this, you know. But if they work hard, they can get out of the slum. See, I still go back to my old neighborhood, even though they call it the slums. I still go back there and see my friends. Um, hi. Um, How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Specifically, three guys. There's Joshua, there's Fury, and uh, Wilder. So I just wanted to know your thoughts on the three of them and who you think would probably be the best of the three. I don't know. I think Joshua right now. But we, we can Tyson Fury hasn't fought in a while. Right. He's going to fight Wilder now, so. Well, that's, that's going to be an interesting fight. Yeah. I don't think Tyson had, Fury had enough fights yet. He should have warmed up and got more fights before yeah. he fought him. Any further questions? Yes, we see one from there. We'll handle the mic too. Career in MMA as well? I don't know. They don't pay a lot of money in MMA. <laughs> so I, I would have went with the money. Fighting's where the money is. Boxing's where the money is at. Uh, hi, India is known for a cricket. Here, <laughs> left. Sorry, right. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Hi. I see you. Uh, India is known for a cricket. Here, Indian, like, uh, they eat, sleep, and drink cricket. So how much of cricket do you follow? Excuse me? <laughs> so question for you is that in India, cricket is one of the biggest sport. So what, what, was it, what, what, do, you, what do you think about how much do How much cricket do you follow? Do you, do you know cricket? Do you follow? Well, I know cricket. I don't follow cricket, but I know you hit the ball with the stick. <laughs> And then you run. It's like baseball in a way. American baseball, similar. Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, hi. Uh, Mike, you said you were a great fan of UFC as well. Uh, what of the uh, Mayweather versus McGregor fight? Was it something credible for you? or That was a good fight. I was, ex I was entertained, yes. Okay. So, but that is something boxing needs to go, you know, to, for their ratings. You know the HBO... Today, just drop the deal. You know, they're not going to show live boxing anymore. HBO is not going to show live boxing anymore? Yes. Yeah, today announced. 
I, I had no idea. Yeah. So is it something that way to go for boxing? I don't know. That's really um, that's a tricky question. I'm not sure. If they don't if they don't show boxing on television live, how they're gonna get paid? I, I don't know. This is tricky. Hello, Mike. हेलो मैक हेलो मैम आपको कैसा लगा हमारा हिंदुस्तान आप यहाँ पे आप आए हैं घूमने के लिए तो आपको सब में कौन सी चीज प्यारी है हिंदुस्तान में या आई टेक द वीडियो फॉर वन सो सो माइक द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट डू यू लाइक अबाउट इंडिया व्हाट्स द मोस्ट फेवरेट पार्ट अबाउट इंडिया व्हाट्स द फेवरेट थिंग अबाउट इंडिया फॉर यू वेल आई जस्ट गॉट इन इंडिया सो आई डिन हैव अ चांस टू सी मच बट आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू गोइंग टू द स्लम्स In the Taj Mahal as well. Thank you. Wait, there's one question. I want to go to the Taj Mahal. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Mike. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, would you uh, agree? Is it fair to say that uh, boxing today kind of doesn't, you know, capture the imagination of? Uh, Of fans in the same way as your era did, would you agree with that? And if you do, why do you think uh, that is the case? Well, um, it's just different because they're not the big personality. Most of the fighters now are very straightforward guys. They're real nice guys, and they're good individuals. I was always in trouble. I was always here and there, so that's why I was always in the paper and stuff. And that's why it's different because those are really straight gentlemen guys, and I was really wild and stuff when I was just a young kid, getting in trouble. Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, Hello. Hi. How are you? I just want to know that you know, I mean, uh, the thing is in uh, full-fledged boxing, there's a when you are on the ring, a lot of thing uh, you know goes on like how when you are battered, does your head work or your mind like how do you? How how important is it for a boxer to overcome the challenges and react quickly and uh, fight back at the opponent? Well, you know, um, the, when you first start and you start training in boxing, you get adapted to that. You get to learn to train your mind to understand that we're in a fight. You have to understand that you're in a fight because you can get hurt in a fight if you're not conscious enough. And I think um, most of the fighters nowadays are really subconscious on how they think when they fight now. Of the most popular Indian boxers today, so. What are your thoughts on him? Do you follow him? Excuse me. No, I'm not aware of it. All right, so we'll just take one last question, ladies and gentlemen. And special in Mumbai. Thank you. I'm from ABP Group, ABP Maza, and ABP News. I just want to know what are your thoughts? What boxing has given to you, and why are you visiting slums? Uh, do you think that boxing is the sport which has to be nurtured in underprivileged children? I think the poorer you are, the better boxer you are. You know, and that's why people in the slum; those are the guys that become the fighters and the most successful fighters. The people that come from the slum, all the fighters that come from the slum are the successful. Really, all the fighters that are fighting now come from the slum or some kind of, in, you know, I mean, institution or correctional place. Okay. All right. I believe the question coming from you. Doing awesome. Thank you. Welcome to India, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, so my question is: While you were fighting Mr. Andrew Galota, were you having a really hard time? Yeah, he was really tough. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.